Hey, grade ones. It's just about Father's Day. It's coming up so fast. And um, we want to make sure that we do some cool stuff for your dads because I know your dads are so special to you. And um, my dad has been such an important person in my life. He's always someone that I feel like I can talk to. And um, I just enjoy spending so much time with him. As a kid, we had the best time together. And as an adult, he's just someone that I really look up to. And I found a little book that might get you thinking about some of the awesome things about your dad. This book is called The Ten, uh, the Ten Best Things About My Dad. And it's written by Christine Loomis. And as you listen to this, I just want you to think about some things about your dad and why you love him so much and why he's so special to you. And then what can you do for him on Father's Day just to make sure that he has a really great day and knows how loved he is. So I hope you enjoy this story. Do you know what the 10 best things are about my dad? I'll tell you. Number one, he can throw. He can bat. He likes hoops and balls and gloves. Maybe you have a dad that loves sports. But playing anything with me is what dad really loves. I bet you guys love doing anything with your dad, anything that's play, hey? You and now the playgrounds are open again, so you can even go there with Dad. Number two, he's quiet too. He likes to stretch, to close his eyes and rest. We share the couch, because holding me is what he likes the best. Dad cuddles are the best, aren't they? Number three, he teaches me the stuff he's learned, like knowing right from wrong, on a baseball in the house. Is that okay? Hmm. If I mess up, he says, no sweat. You'll get it before long. Is his dad really mad at him? No. He's like, no problem. Let's just not do that again. Number four. When I perform, he's always there, cheering right out loud. He cheers the same if I'm the star or just part of the crowd. Dad's are proud of you for anything you do. Number five. We go for drives because it's fun to ride around and roam. I love going for a drive. Sometimes I think we're lost, but then he always gets us home. Does your dad have a good sense of direction? Does he always know where he's going? We've had some funny moments. Number six. He reads me bedtime stories, sometimes nine or ten. Do you guys ask for nine or ten stories from dad at bedtime? He never argues when I say, please read that one again. Number seven. He understands if I'm afraid, even late at night. He knows how to scare monsters until they leave in fright. Have you ever had a moment at bedtime that you're like, I'm too scared to go to sleep? And then dad helps to make you feel better. Number eight. Oh. When I'm sad, he hugs me close. He never says, don't cry. It's okay to cry if you get hurt, right? He's very good at listening. He's just that kind of guy. I love a dad that listens. Number nine. Sometimes he's so silly and he's good at tickling too. Look at that dog covering me. That's funny. He tells bad jokes and makes me laugh when I'm feeling blue. Number 10, but he 
here is what is the best of all. Better than one through nine. My dad is extra special. Just because he's mine. Great ones, I hope you have a great Father's Day with your dad. Try to do something really special for him. Try to let him sleep in and uh, maybe serve him breakfast or he wants to go golfing, he only wants to attend when he asks his dad what he wants to do. Um, just make sure that you really are telling dad all the things that you love about him. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there.